Hello, Green Wave fans. I'm Valencia Wilson, your host of This Week at Tulane Athletics. Men's basketball is getting back on track with a great win over the East Carolina Pirates last Wednesday. Leaving the court with an overall score of 73-64, to the Green Wave improved their conference standing four wins to six losses. Senior, seniors Robinson, Louise Me, and Asim McQueen led the team for the first period, while junior Kevin Sims and sophomore Chris Richards held the team with a combination of 23 points to secure the victory for the second period. Yet the men's hoop team was not able to keep up their momentum to beat the Houston Cougars last Saturday, losing by 19 points with an ending score of 83 to 64, dropping the conference standing to four wins and seven losses. Sophomore Chris Richards posted 20 points that game. Women's basketball played a very tough game last Thursday against the Houston Cougars, but it wasn't good enough to take home the victory. The Green Wave lost by seven points with an ending score of 60 to 53. Junior guard Indira Cayo held the team with 15 points and senior forward Megan Valasevic added 14 points. Team's overall standing in the Conference USA has fallen to six wins and five losses. Due to the previous loss, the ladies were not able to pull back to defeat the Rice Owls on Saturday. The Green Wave fell to the Owls with an ending score of 62 to 54. Senior Ashley Langford finished with six points and three assists, becoming the 20th player in Tulane history to hit the 1,000 career point mark. Congratulations, Ashley. Another sad loss for the women's tennis team, who fell to the number 75 ranked team, Mississippi State, giving the Green Wave an overall standing of four wins and six losses. Freshman Miriam Cardazzi posted, a, posted in number one singles and number one doubles. As of yesterday, the women's golf team is currently in fourth place at the Quadova Collegiate Invitational in Miami, Florida. Lena Gustafson fires a one over par 73 for sixth place performance. Women's track and field heated up the Iowa Classic meet in Ames, Iowa. Junior Olivia Kizzy placed seventh overall in the 60 meter final with a time of 7.6 seconds, followed by freshman Casey Rogers placing ninth with a time of 7.61 seconds. Also, the women's 4x4 team consisting of seniors Shayna Pelham and Vanessa Keenis, junior Olivia Kizzy, and, and sophomore Aisha Brooks placed sixth overall with a time of 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Good job, ladies. The women's volleyball head coach, Liz Kritza, announced her resignation from Tulane University to take on the job of head coach at the University of Colorado. This year, she pushed her team to win their first USA Conference Championship and tying the school record with 15 conference wins. We will miss you, Coach Kritza, and thank you for all your hard work and dedication. Last week, junior guard Indira Caljo was named Conference USA Women's Basketball Rookie of the Week. Congratulations, Indira. Tulane Athletic Director Rick Dixon announced last week on the agreement of a four-game season series between the Tulane Green Wave and the Ole Miss Rebels. The first game will be held at the Louisiana Superdome in, on September 11, 2010. This will be the first time that the Green Wave will take on their old rivalry since 2000. Take me out to the ball game. That's right, it's baseball season, and what better way to open the season up than the first game during Mardi Gras. The Green Wave will be taking on the Limon Dolphins this Friday at 6 p.m., Saturday at noon, p at noon, and Sunday at 1 p.m. in Turchin Stadium. Also, don't forget to purchase your weekend family four-pack. If you're interested, call 504-861-WAVE. This, thir this Thursday, the women's basketball team will take on Southern Miss Golden Eagles in Fogelman Arena at 7 p.m., and also Saturday they will play the UCF Knights in the Fogelman Arena at 1 p.m. Men's basketball will take on UAB Blazers this Wednesday in Fogelman Arena at 7 p.m. On Friday, women's tennis will match up with the Houston Cougars in Houston at 2 p.m. The Green Wave Speed Team will head to Baton Rouge on Saturday to run in the LSU Twilight League. As I mentioned earlier, the, the women's golf team is competing in the Cordova Collegiate Invitation in Miami, Florida, which will continue today and tomorrow. If you want to check out any highlights of any previous games, you can go to www.tulanegreenwave.cstv.com. Well, that's all the news for today's show of This Week in Tulane Athletics. Have a good week, and until then, roll wave.